Hello there, my name is Paul and in this video we'll be giving some detail about the Masters in Cybersecurity here at Swansea University. I'll be talking about the program structure, giving some examples of the most popular modules on the course and then also looking at how it is assessed. So, to go to the program structure, the full-time MSc is a year-long course and it's divided into two parts. Part one is 120 credits of taught modules and these take place between October and June. Then part two is a 60 credit dissertation project. Students normally start work on this around June and work through the summer. Of course, that's in a normal year. If you're joining us in September, things will be different if you're joining us for a January start, but um, you can see the basic way that the course is put together. You're going to be taught either way through a combination of lectures, seminars, lab work, tutorials, practicals and problem sessions. I'd like to give some examples of the most popular modules. Firstly, IT security, cryptography and network security. This is a 15 credit course. It's taught by Dr. P. Kumar. It examines theoretical and practical aspects of computer and network security. Students on this course will learn to identify security threats and their causes in today's computing infrastructures. You'll have 30 contact hours divided between lectures and lab work. The assessment is 10% from lab work, 20% from coursework, and then 70% from examination. The topics on the course include security threats and their causes, security criteria and models, cryptography, access control, security tools and frameworks, vulnerabilities and attacks, security issues in wireless networks and security in the cloud. When you complete the course, you're going to have the ability to explain in detail and apply techniques from cryptography and cryptanalysis and synthesize the concepts of design, defensive programming, as well as their application to build robust, and resilient systems. You're going to be able to apply these techniques to enhance the security of existing systems and you'll have gained a critical awareness of the limits of these techniques. You'll also be able to reflect on and critique cryptographic techniques and secure systems design. You will also be covering a lot of transferable skills. These skills include problem analysis and solving, abstract modeling, formal reasoning, learning process management, the ability to learn and use computer systems effectively, the ability to evaluate and deploy new technologies. And these would be useful to you both as a cybersecurity expert, but also as any, uh, in any area of computer science. A second module to introduce security vulnerabilities and penetration testing. So this course is taught by Dr. Philip James. The aim is to examine methodological and practical aspects of cybersecurity threats and analysis techniques. 30 contact hours on this course divided between lectures and laboratory work. The assessment is 20% from coursework, 30% from lab, 50% from exam. The topics on the course uh, include security threats and causes, vulnerabilities and attacks, attack countermeasures, security analysis tools and frameworks, shell code, legal and ethical issues of ethical hacking, social engineering, and methodologies for penetration testing. When you finish this course, you're going to have learnt to identify security threats and their causes in today's computing infrastructure. You'll be able to explain in detail a number of methodologies for security analysis of a system. You'll be able to recognize vulnerabilities and be able to defend against them. You will also be able to apply techniques of penetration testing to existing systems, and you will have gained a critical awareness of the limits of these techniques. Transferable skills that you will gain from this course include problem analysis and solving, learning process management, general programming skills, learning and using computer systems effectively, and evaluating and deploying new technologies. You'll also complete an MSc project as part of your cybersecurity course. The MSc project is part of every 
master's course that we have at Swansea. It's a 60 credit dissertation module and it will allow you to carry out an independent project under the guidance of your supervisor and you'll have the opportunity to explore a topic of interest to you in considerable depth. When you complete such a project, you will have proven yourself to be able to undertake independent research in your field. You'll be able to plan and execute a significant piece of project work and you'll have shown that you're able to critically evaluate your work in the context of current work in related areas. Of course, there are transferable skills gained to problem solving, literature searching, report writing, and comparative analysis. So, to take a look at how the uh, MSc in cybersecurity is assessed, firstly, IT security, cryptography, and network security. Uh, and then secondly on this list, security vulnerabilities and penetration testing. We've already gone through these two. Um, if we go to the third on the list, information security management, this course has no exam. It's 30% from group work, 70% report. In network and wireless security, there's the assessment is 70% from exam and 30% from lab. In blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and smart contracts, 60% from exam, 10% from lab, and 30% from practical. Then embedded systems design, this module is assessed 35% on the exam, 25% on your lab work, and 40% from coursework. So you can see that there's a great deal of variety in the way that the different modules on the course are assessed. And indeed, uh, there's a great deal of variety in the assessment of all the different modules in, in all of our master's courses here at Swansea. This information and more information is available on our website. Um, if you go to the cybersecurity page and scroll down to modules and then click through, you can find information on the assessment and also the uh, transferable skills covered, the, the aims of the course, all of the information really that I'm presenting now is available on the, on the course page there. So if you, if you go to our web page, uh, you can look into those and that will help you when you come to choose uh, the elective modules that you might like to take. So to go back over some of our rankings and USPs before we finish, um, Swansea Computer Science, as you'll know, we are in the REF 2014 to 2021. We're 11th in the UK for computer science research. We're world ranked in the QS World University rankings. Uh, all of our students get to enjoy the facilities in our brand new £31.5 million computational foundry building. Of course, these facilities include for, uh, for cyber security a dedicated security lab. Um, this lab features a, an isolated network um, where we can separate the, the computers on that network away from the rest of the university system so that when we're looking at things like viruses, malware, when we're practicing penetration testing, hacking, anything like that, we can do it in a safe environment separated from the rest of the systems. Um, it gives our students the opportunity to really get very deeply into the topic whilst remaining in a safe environment, which is fantastic. All of our courses include a substantial project module, as I introduced, and within that there is the opportunity to complete live projects as well. A live project is a project where the question that you're looking to answer, the problem that you're looking to solve is, is something that's been posed by the needs of industry, and we have national and international industry links within the department that can help to make these happen. Of course, the advantage of doing a live project is that it's going to look really good on your CV, on your resume, on graduation when you're going to look for employment. There is full, also full employability support offered to all of our students here, um, both within the department itself, as we have a dedicated employability officer, and also centrally from the university. Uh, so we have two tracks of employability to support to make sure that you are best placed to take advantage of the opportunities that will be available to you. So thank you very much. Um, we do hope that you stay in touch. 
Uh, if you'd like to ask any questions on anything raised in this video, my email address is p.d.holborough at swansea.ac.uk. And our computer science pages are here, swansea.ac.uk slash compsci. And uh, we are at Swan Science on both Twitter and Instagram. Thank you very much.